Hi everybody, welcome back to Hudson's House of Play. I am Miss Lynn and thank you for joining me for our craft tutorial. All of this week we are discussing automobiles, planes, trains, and all different forms of transportation. And today we learned about cars and different types of vehicles and automobiles. So for our craft today, we are going to construct our very own car. Let's talk about our materials that we need. So there will be a few different options that you can use for materials, but Miss Lynn has a paper towel roll and I have some toilet paper rolls. I'll put those aside, you can see that. And if you don't have that, then all you need is a piece of cardboard Whoa. and some paper, cardboard paper, cardstock, something like just construction paper. I'm gonna use the black paper. And last but not least, very importantly, we need pencils. I have a box of pencils here, or you can use anything similar to pencils, color pencils, a pen, that kind of thing. You'll need two of them per vehicle for your axle. And then I have these, which I get a lot from takeout. These are our container tops, the lids to our takeout containers. And those will serve as our wheels for our automobile. All right. Now I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can create your automobile. We'll need some tape, possibly scissors, and of course your decoratives, like any stickers you want to add to your car or color, uh, any markers or paint that you want to design onto your car, you can use that. And that'll be at the end and it'll be up to you how you would like to design your vehicle. But let's start with our basic format first. Miss Lynn is going to use a paper towel roll and two toilet paper rolls. What I'm going to do is I will lay my paper towel roll on top of my toilet paper rolls. And from here, once I glue or tape them on, I will take my pencil and I will poke a hole. I'll show you how we poke these holes through just like this. And then I will, I'll insert it through my paper, toilet paper roll. And this will be the front axle with the two wheels for my car. I will show you how to do that step by step. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take my toilet, my paper towel roll and take my toilet paper rolls on both ends. So let's grab, whoa, let's grab some tape. You can always glue it um, or hot glue it, whatever works for you. Miss Lynn is just going to put a little tape on it. I don't need too much. And you can always secure it further if you need. So I'll put some tape there. I'll show you what I'm doing in just a second. Put tape right there. All right, I just put two pieces of tape. And all I'm going to do is simply stick my toilet paper roll perpendicular to my toilet paper roll. So there, I'm just gonna stick my fingers in and press it down onto the tape. Since I can put my finger inside. All right, and I'll do that for the other side. Same thing, just like that. Let me move this over a little bit. Okay, there we go, nice and secure. So now, it just looks like that. Nothing's too crazy just yet. And it's pretty simple. Our toilet paper roll serves as the axle for our rods that go through, which will be the pencils. So next step, we're gonna put that aside and that will we'll pick up in just a second. We need two pencils ready to go for our rods. And we need four of our plastic tops, our plastic lid. Now Miss Lynn has already pre-poked a hole into the center of my lid. For you to do that, you might want to use, uh, you might want to have an adult either use a thumbtack, I just used a, a little skewer that I had and I poked a little hole into it. Once I had the hole, guess what? I just took a pen. I took a pen and I shoved it in there so that I could 
wiggle it around and make that hole nice and loose. Once I did that, it was ready to go. So we need four wheels. I have one, two, three, and four. I have four wheels for my car. Now, what do I need to do? Take my pencil. It's okay if it's sharpened. I just have new pencils here. I'm going to stick it through one side. There we go. And I'm gonna bring it all the way up to the eraser portion, pretty close to the eraser portion. I'm going to take my pencil. I'm gonna stick it through one of my toilet paper rolls in the back. And then I'm gonna add my second wheel, which is going to look like this. There we go. So let's just see what that looks like. I have my pencil through my toilet paper roll with the wheels. Now I need to do the front. Same thing, same process. Take the pencil, stick it through your Tupperware lid, put it through your toilet paper roll here, and then add the other wheel on the other side. And if you don't have any of these takeout container lids, you can use the lids from like a sour cream container, cottage cheese container. I'm sure you have some of those around as well. Well, let's check out what we've already made in such a short window of time. So here is my simple vehicle that I made, and let's test it out. Let's see if it works. Ooh, let me move this so you guys can see that. Whoa. There we go. Put this down for just a second. Let's roll it back. There we go. One, two, three, go. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, this is the fun part. If you went with this model, then you are on to the decorating portion. Miss Lynn is going to show you one other way, just in case you don't have the toilet paper rolls, I can show you how to make them with regular cardstock. Okay, I'm gonna move my little car over this side. I'll put it down and let's pick up my materials once again. Here we go. So we are going to make another version of a car. It's similar concept. You're going to want to have some kind of tube like the axle so that I can stick my pencil through. And if you don't have a toilet paper roll, we can make little tubes and they don't have to be as big as a toilet paper roll. So Miss Lynn made these little tubes just using some hard paper and I'll show you what I mean. I'll just use this old piece of black paper that I had from one of our crafts and I am going to demonstrate how we make this little tube. Getting some scissors here. I am going to cut my paper in small little square here, just like this, see this? Now all Miss Lynn is going to do is I'm going to roll it up. So remember when we've, we've done this once before, you can take a pencil and you can lay it, let me show you, you can lay it right at the top of the paper and then just start rolling your pencil and wrapping it up inside that paper until it's all rolled up around your pencil like that. Now take it out, unroll it slightly, and all you're gonna do now is put a little tape on the seams of your paper that you did. So I'm gonna do that for my other wheel, other axle as well. Once again, I'll show you what I'm doing. Let me make sure I'm using the right side. Hold the pencil at the top and curl it up rolling your pencil and wrapping it up like a blanket around. Okay, and then once you have that, you can pull it off and just unravel it slightly. And look, it's curled and curved. And all you're gonna do is tape the seams closed and you can make your very own little tubular piece here. So where did I put my tape? Here it is. I'm gonna take some tape and I'm going to seal the seams up. I'm just going to tape the edge closed. Show you how to do that. So I will grab my tape 
and I'm going to tape the edge right here. I'm gonna line up my edge here and then I'm gonna tape it closed using a piece of tape, simply laying it right on the edge there, just like that. And if you have a little overhang, that's even better. You could just tuck it under, tuck it under. There we go. Ta-da, just looks like that. I'll do that for my second axle. Here it is, it's still open. This one's gonna line up the seams here. I'm gonna hold it steady. I'm gonna lay my tape right on top, just like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All you need to do is close up, seal up that the seam, that's it. That's all you need to do is seal up the seam. There you go. So now, doo -doo -doo -doo, I have two of my axles for my rod that's gonna go through. Now, once again, you'll still need your Tupperware lids. If you don't have Tupperware lids, you can use um, a few different things. You can um, use buttons, and you just wouldn't, you would need a, a pretty big button if you're using a pencil. If you're using a small button, everything just gets scaled down. You're just gonna make a tiny version of this and you'll use a toothpick or a wooden skewer. You can do that as well. Um, you can also, if you wanted, instead of making these, if you're making a small car, you can use a dried ziti pasta, a dried like rigatoni pasta and you can stick your pencil through there as well. So those are a few options. I didn't have any dried pasta, so I modified it and used the toilet paper roll for my first model, and I showed you how to make the rod with the harder paper, the cardstock paper. Now let's make sure these are all ready to go. Miss Lynn has already poked her pen right through here and made it nice and open so that I can get my pencil in. And I have one, two, three, and four, four wheels. Now let's get the base since I'm giving you another option of making a car without those toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. Here's just a piece of cardboard. You can use an old cereal box. You can use a tissue box. You can use anything for the base of your car. And it's the same concept. You're going to tape your axles onto your cardboard here, and that will serve as the car. So let's do that right now. Miss Lynn's gonna grab some tape. And I'm just going to tape the axle down. I'm gonna do, let's see. Yeah, this is good. I'll just tape it right in the middle. I think that should be fine. Making sure I'm gonna try to line things up and keep it as straight and neat as possible. So I just taped one here. Now I'll tape one at the other end. And this is just, this tutorial is just meant to provide you with a baseline format on how to make it. The things that you decide to add to your car, whether you decorate it, add something else to it, maybe add a fancier wheels, or maybe you add some sort of hood, those are all going to be your decision and it will be uniquely your car since you designed it. So make sure you take the time to add your own pizzazz to your vehicle. Now, back to our pencil into our tire or our top. We're gonna stick it through the holes that we already created and slide it all the way up to that eraser, that green metal part. And we are going to stick it through our rod here. And then we'll connect our other uh, lid on this side. This one is, needs to be just, oh, there we go. Okay, now I have to do my bottom. So let's get that one done. Where's my other pencil? Here it is. I'm gonna poke my hole through and right up to that green piece. And once again, I'm gonna stick it into my 
black rod axle that I made here. And then I'll put this one on. All right. Now let's see what this looks like when we flip it over. Now I am liking this one. I've got to move this out of the way so you can see my car and how it works. Move my, all right, let's get this going. Okay, check it out. Whoa, look at that. So we have two different options and this is where you can really jazz it up. You can put something on top, you can add some glitter, you can add some stickers, you can add any kind of fun design. It's your car and I wanna see you guys getting creative. All right, I am having too much fun with these cars. I hope you had a great time following this lens tutorial and I cannot wait to see what you came up with for your vehicle. Don't forget to send it in to Miss Lynn and don't forget to decorate it and take some time to make it special. And you can always send it into Lynn at Hudson's House of Play.com. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye to all my friends. I'll see you again from your place to my place, from your room to the classroom. Goodbye to all my friends. I'll see you again. Bye everyone, have fun.